hello everyone this is a quick video on how to do your initial configuration on Avaya ERS switch this can be same on 2500 3500 4000 series 5000 series switches so this is as good as when you boot your ERS switch at the very first time like you are buying a new switch so just now I connected my switch with the console and when it boots up all I need to do I need to control Y in order to get the screen so you will come to the initial stage so let me show you quickly how you do this initial configuration as you can see it is asking to provide the initial IP address or like in band IP address so this is kind of when you act when you want to access the switch this is IP you're gonna use so let's say 192 192.168.2.2 enter the subtenant mask 255 255 255 no 55.0 gateway 192.168.2.1 yeah and we can ignore this this is not required right now no okay we will go with the VLAN one only Please provide the in-band. No, it's not required. We are not. We are not going to configure the V6. Please provide in-band now. Here you go. So this is our ERS4526 GTX switch. So let's see. Do we have our switch IP there? Show running. I need to go to enable show running configuration here you go oh, this is the gateway IP and this is the switch IP which, which we just configured okay so let me just bring my putty here see if we, if we are able to access the switch oh gonna tell net 192.168.2.2 control y oops no oh sorry i did not connect my lan okay gonna try one more time give the error restart session yes you can see I just connect to 192.168.2.2 all I need to do is control Y yeah here we are enable config terminal show VLAN and all good so just a ra rapid uh, I would say just a quick uh, video on initial configuration and I hope you liked it thank you very much